Consider this math Philippian question that we have here. 2 raised to the 20th power minus 4. How can you find the value of that expression without the use of a calculator? Feel free to pause the video if you want to try this problem. Now the first thing that we can do is rewrite this expression. Consider this math Olympia question that we have on the board here. 2 raised to the 20th power minus 4. How can we evaluate this expression without the use of a calculator? Feel free to pause the video if you want to try this problem. Now one of the first things we need to do is we need to adjust that expression, 2 raised to the 20th power. And we could use properties of exponents to do that. a raised to the m raised to the n is a to the m times n. So whenever you raise one exponent to another exponent, you need to multiply the two exponents. But we're going to go backwards. So starting with a to the 20th power, we can write that as a to the 10th raised to the second power, because 10 times 2 is 20. Well, instead of base a, we have base 2. So we're going to rewrite 2 to the 20th power as 2 to the 10th power raised to the second power. Four, we can write that as 2 squared. Now notice that we have a difference of two perfect squares. Whenever you see a situation like that, you could use this formula. a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. In this example, a is 2 to the 10, b is 2. So we have a plus b, that's 2 to the 10 plus 2, and then a minus b, 2 to the 10 minus 2. Now what is 2 raised to the 10th power? 2 to the 10, we could break that into 2 to the 4 times 2 to the 4 times 2 squared. 2 to the 4th power, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. If you multiply 2 4 times, you get 16. So we have 16 times 16, and 2 squared is 4, but I'm going to write that as 2 times 2. 16 times 16 is 256. If you double 256, 250 plus 250, that's 500. 6 plus 6 is 12. You get 512. Now, if you double 512, 500 plus 500 is 1,000. 12 plus 12 is 24. So you get 1024. So that's the value of 2 to the 10th power is 1,024. So we have 1,024 plus 2 and 1,024 minus 2. So this is going to be 1026 times 1022. So at this point, what we can do is log multiplication. 1,026 times 1,022. 2 times 6 is 12. We'll write 2, carry over the 1. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1, that's 5. 2 times 0 is 0, and then 2 times 1 is 2. Now we're going to add a 0, start with the next number. 2 times 6 is 12. We'll write 2, carry the 1. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1, that's 5. And then 2 times 0 is 0. And then 2 times 1 is 2. For the third row, we're going to add two zeros and move on to the next digit. 0 times 6 is 0. 0 times 2 will be 0. 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. Now for the last row, we're going to add three zeros, and we're going to start with the next digit. So 1 times 6 is 6. 
and then 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 0 is 0, and then 1 times 1 is 1. So now let's add each column of numbers. So for the first column we have 2, and then 5 plus 2 is 7, next one is 5, 2 plus 6 is 8, 2 plus 2 is 4, and then this is what we end up with. So that is the final answer. That's how we can evaluate this expression without the use of a calculator. So it's 1,048,572. So that's the value of 2 to the 20th power minus 4.